All right, so we got Hell Is Us gameplay reveal trailer. Let's go to the video. Let's get right into it, man. Let's go. I don't remember when it happened, but I remember how I felt. Father told us to hide when they came to our house. Then they took him away. Mother said I couldn't play outside anymore. Everyone had fled. She said the country was sick. But we would be okay. Mother always said monsters didn't exist. I thought they lived under my bed. Oh, no, they didn't. We were both wrong. They lived inside our heads. Okay. 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 I like this. I like this. Oh yeah, I like this. I like this. Hold up. I like this. Please teach it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. All right. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Is my mic on? Oh yeah. All right. I'm, I'm about to get this thing a straight ten minutes. Straight 10, 15 minutes. First of all. We got Hell is Us. Now, I did hear a lot about this game. I heard this game was absolutely fire. One of the best. I mean, a, a lot of people were saying, you know, this was like one of the best releases of the state of play. Besides, obviously, besides like the whole Ghost of Tsushima 2 thing or Ghost of Yote. Um, and to be honest with you, bro, a lot of people were, you know, speculating that, oh, you know, this might be one of the... Uh, you know how the internet it is. They were they were clowning the, the state of play before. Before they showed the Ghost of Tsushima, right? Bro. I, and here's let me let me give you some pointers on just people let me let me just give you some pointers if you're ever watching any of these events like the state of play xbox showcase playstation showcase game awards whatever do not turn on the comments if you're watching it from like your tv or whatever on youtube do not turn on the comments what i like to do is i like to watch a lot of these events that i literally just named i like to watch a lot of these events on a tv i don't know why i just feel more comfortable just watching it boom from a tv whatever um rather than like uh my computer i mean if my computer's like if that's like the only option boom i play it on the computer but if i'm being honest with you i like just watching it on youtube on the tv live if you turn on the chat l l l l even if you like a game l l l, l, l it's, it's ridiculous but that's just people on the internet um whenever this game came up and like you know me like whenever i'm watching like a lot of these events i try not to indulge into them a lot i try not to like you know say a bunch whatever because i want to save it for the video now i actually forgot about this trailer because it was so early on in like the event whatever and life obviously like a lot of attention was on the whole ghost of tsushima uh two thing and i was focused on it as well uh and there's some more like you know fire games you know coming out as well like dragon age that's coming out um i think on uh halloween um uh we got like the astrobot update and we got like, like other more games too so this game i was like oh yeah this is fire this is heat and then i watched it again right now bro in like on a computer it looks fire and it looks heat let me tell you something first of all i don't know whoever designed this first of all bro round of applause to you the, bro the, the, the whole design of this bro is fire i don't know why but like it gives me like it gives me like i don't know if you guys ever played like the game stalker it gives me like stalker like this game gives me like a little bit like stalker vibes a little bit um like bro everything looked like like it looks like a tv show it looked kind of real this part right here where it had like all the bodies and stuff like that that was like th this is like a, a shot for the century i can't lie to you um so yeah it did look pretty good i wasn't really worried about the story at first but now like you know hearing about the story how you know how we have like monsters you know inside and stuff like that and if I'm being honest with you, I was like, oh, you know, cool. You know, the whole monsters thing, the monsters inside of our heads. We're going to turn, we're going to like turn into like some type of mutation or whatever. Boom. 
I can't lie to you. As soon as, as soon as this thing right here popped up, I can't lie to you. I got spooked. Um, every game, and, and not every game, but a lot of games, when, when they have like, uh, when they have like their enemies or like the, uh, or like the opposition or like the villain or whatever, the villain or the opposition or the enemy has to be good. It has to be good looking, basically. It has to like, it has to like have like a like a look, like um, Last of Us. How it has like the clickers. The clickers are like one of the most disgusting, mucus looking things ever. But at the same time, like whenever you, like every time like you hear a clicker or every time you see a clicker, you're like you instantly think Last of Us. Or same thing with like uh, Until Dawn with the Wendigos. Like everything, like everybody has like this like specific look. So at the end of the day, like I can't lie to you. Even though like this monster, this monster creature, mutant, whatever you want to call this thing right here, this thing like it just got created in the lab accidentally. We were both wrong. They live inside our head. Now I I can't lie to you. This is a definitely a, a creative. I don't know. First of all, whoever created this deserves an extra five dollars, you know, to their check. But um, whoever created this right here, it definitely like. It's different because you don't see like you don't see like these enemies or like monsters or like that or like the opposition. You don't really see, you know, you usually see their face or you usually see what they look like. This thing right here has no face. This thing just has like layers and layers and layers of, of whatever, which makes it kind of cool in a way. I, I can't believe I'm saying that. I'm not really interested in like, you know, things with the faces missing. You know, they don't have any like they don't have any fingers like, like their fingers being cut off. It looks like they're just throwing up gang signs all day. Like whenever it comes to stuff like that, I'm not really like you know too intertwined with stuff like that. But I can't lie to you, bro. This thing right here does look a little cool. It does look a little cool. Uh, I'm gonna get to the combat in just in a little bit. But let me talk about like 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 these little like like these little um these little uh these little mutants right here. Now, to be fair, right? Whenever it comes down to talking, like bro, like look at this. This is crazy looking. Like I don't listen. I don't want to assume like you know the gender or whatever. But we just, we just gonna call this an it. Because we, listen, we're just gonna call this thing an it. Because we, let, let's, like that's a scary looking like that's like an interesting scary looking thing that we should have in a video game. You get what I'm saying? Like it shouldn't be too like oh okay I'm just a cowboy with with zombie fingers I stank I got a gun boom 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 no it, it you, you gotta have a mutant you gotta have something that just you gotta have something that bites you gotta have you gotta have something. That, that that scares people not you know like a like like an ordinary villain the guy told his army to come over here and destroy this town boohoo like that's cool whatever but like you want to have that creature you want to have a creature or like a a look to that creature you know that make that makes that that makes that that puts fear in these people's hearts and i can't lie to you they kind of they kind of got it with this right here this looks kind of cool um let's talk about the combat now the combat in this game obviously you know you're walking around with like this sword, I don't know what this sword contains. It looks like it's just dark at the bottom, but then like at the top it has like some type of light or whatever. Um, and, and so the combat actually looks pretty good. I, I like the combos, or whatever. I do like how this guy right here. I don't know if this is like the protagonist or whatever, but I, most likely he's a protagonist. I like how like you have like this drone or whatever, and like bro, you can actually legit use this drone as like a move onto like the enemies and stuff. I can't lie to you, that's fire as well. Another thing, it looks like we have puzzles in this game now. I'll be honest with you as a big God of War fan you guys know bro puzzles man. I I hate them. I hate them, but at the same time uh, I feel like it's kind of necessary for a lot of these story games because Yes, it's cool. It, especially if it's like a if it's like a true story game, bro Like you just fighting enemies whatever that's great, but some people love like the whole like them figuring out puzzles and then like again like I said I'm a God of War fan so I can't lie to you, right? And I'm not dumb, but I'm not the smartest guy in the world. I'm not Albert Einstein, right? So um, there were a few times where, you know, me playing God of War, um, I would just be walking around with Kratos like, yo, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to get up there? And, you know, Kratos would be like, bro, I, I swear, bro, Kratos, he'd be annoying sometimes. He'd be, like, he'd be like, dad, try this. Dad, try this. And then I try the thing out and it doesn't work. Dad, try this. Like, bro, shut up. Like, bro, get out of my way. Like, what are you talking about? All right, so I'm back. Like I mentioned before, bro, listen, a lot of these puzzles in God of War, they be having me stumped out crazy. I, I, I be looking absolutely diabolical. I be looking confused like a like I just got shocked by some type of by some type of taser or something like that. But, um, you know, obviously, bro, after like, what, three to four hours, I do eventually, you know, figure out the puzzle and stuff like that. But I do like how a lot of these games do have 
uh, different forms of gameplay, such as like the combat, such as the the whole puzzle thing. Even though I'm not really a big fan of it, because you know. But um, but yeah, it's always fun to have like different forms of um, you know, different forms of like you know content and different forms of like gameplay in the game. Just so like you won't, I don't want to say just so you won't get bored, but just so like it, it like switches it up. You get what I'm saying? So comment down below, man. What do you guys think about Hell Is Us? Definitely one of the, um, honestly, bro, definitely one of the few games uh, in like the like Sony PlayStation State of Play that definitely you know surprised me. So yeah, comment down below. What do you guys think about it? Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, uh, bro. About 90% of you guys you know watch the videos, but you don't do nothing. I promise you. When I catch you outside, you're going to get the beats. You guys like the <laughs> I'm out.